All right, guys. So, I don't think I've done a YouTube video with him yet. That's kind of cool that he just did that. But this is Mickey. Um, not sure if he's going to show his um, Mickey Mouse head yet. But I just wanted to kind of do a video with him and show you guys how cool he is. He's a... Um, Brazilian rainbow boa. I've showed him on my Instagram before, but he is awesome. It's a snake that I've wanted since I was a kid, and I never thought that I'd actually get one until I uh, was old enough to have adult money. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. He's there's his Mickey Mouse right here. If you guys can see that right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, he's a Brazilian rainbow boa. I've wanted one since I was a kid. He's just kind of a... One of the main reasons like I got into reptiles. I remember going through the um, little books at the book fair as a kid. And there was always a rainbow boa on there. And I just always was like, one day I'm going to have one of these. And I was um, probably weird little kid but that's okay but yeah now i have one and they're awesome to own people say they're really nippy or and stuff like that but i also have a a young female i think i've showed her on youtube before and she's not nippy or anything either so i don't think they're that nippy i nothing has ever showed me that they're not that nippy they're very explorey and they're pretty active snakes compared to the ball pythons. I think they're pretty neat. And they don't get huge to the size where it's going to be impossible to take care of it if I don't have a facility right now. Um, now in the future, when I have a house and possibly a facility... Um, I'm going to be getting bigger snakes, like retics. Uh, probably one retic. I want at least one or two green anacondas. Um, I'm going to have some yellow anacondas. Just a lot of that kind of stuff when it comes to the snakes. And then obviously if I can get my permitting and um, things like that, I can get more, more things like caiman. Um, and all of this will basically be for conservation efforts. Um, I don't know in Arizona how possible it is, but I'd love to breed insurance colonies for Gila monsters and things like that. I think that would be awesome. Um, or even to work with Game and Fish and do things like that. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling because I made a couple of videos that I haven't posted on YouTube yet. Um, I'm not slacking, if that's what you guys think. I'm actually... I have some big things planned for the summer that you'll hear about in future videos and it's it's going to be pretty crazy for the next two years I think and I think you guys are going to really enjoy going along for the ride. I know I'm really excited for a lot of the things coming and it's it's going to be pretty big. Some of the biggest things that have ever happened in my life that's that's for sure. But you guys will be right there with us, and it's it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm pretty excited. But I just wanted to kind of show off Mickey here and show you guys what he's like and how his temperament is. I'm going to see real quick if I can kind of hold him out of the way while I show you guys how big Royal's getting. He's... Uh, here, I'll just hand him to Joanna. Mr. Royal, uh, Joanna's California king snake, is they are colubrids, and he is growing quickly. Let's see if I can get him to stretch out just once for you guys.
There it is. But yeah, he's uh, he's getting pretty long. So obviously he's never going to be nearly the size as um, little Mickey over here. But I've always loved my little colubrids. They're always cool little snakes to hang out with. Catching gopher snakes and garter snakes growing up and just kind of that's what grew my love for colubrids um i don't know i want to get i actually do want to get some false water cobras that's like one of the big ones um they're cool because they are they're not real cobras obviously they are rear fanged venomous which means their bite is like comparable to a bee sting um and it, unless you're allergic it's really not going to be that bad of a bite but and they're usually pretty some of the videos i've seen it i've seen ones that are super crazy and i've also seen ones that are super chill i think a lot of it has to do with how you raise the animal if you're using the animal for venom training um which i think falsies are kind of awesome to use with for venomous training but if you're gonna use them for something like that they're probably not going to be as chill of a snake but if you use them for just like how I hang out with some of my snakes, obviously, it'll be a lot more chill. And you can just kind of hang out. But I don't know. It all just depends on how you do it, I guess. But yeah, I'll uh, give you guys one more pretty cool shot of Mickey. Obviously, I haven't made any edited videos yet, and there's there's reasons for that. It's just I need a little more time. Like six, six, give me six months, and I'll get you guys some crazy content that you never saw coming. Hold on, he's kind of being a turd. So Marley's in the background crawling all over the place. I just fed him, so... Well, actually, John had to feed him, but... There we go. But, anyways, um... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some pretty crazy stuff that we got coming. Um... It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Hope you guys are as excited as I am. Peace out. <laughs>